what's good my good people we have reached august in georgia it is still hot i just wanted to give you a quick lawn update uh the question i've been getting a lot here recently if you uh if you recall i got the toro at the beginning of the season and people have been asking me what do i like better the john deere or the toro so i'm going to give you my thoughts on that today the yard i've had to raise up my wife gardener over here has been in the hospital so i did have to raise the height of cut but wanted to tell you what i'm seeing uh john deere versus toro let's get into it so my first season with the flex that was all it took just using it this season i am now a toro flex man through and through the number one reason i can tell you that is hard lining so right now about this time of year and in all these groups i'm seeing people with the hard lining at least that's what i call it i'm going to kind of show you a picture of what it looks like but it's really around this time of year when the turf gets thick your reel mower kind of starts floating and you're going to get those hard lines when i changed to the flex with the floating head all that stopped um i was just getting a much more smoother better quality of cut i'd say if you look behind me i got this this swell right here where the water you know runs from the backyard and i would hard line through here so bad and as well as other parts of the yard but the flex mower just contours to all those little uh you know hills and ditches and whatnot and i mean that is the biggest difference for me so it's been a game changer i like it so much i'm probably going to sell my other john deere and get another flex uh, i just love it that much that being said i do not have anything against the john deeres i still think they're you know number two up there in the the greens mower game um mine has been nothing but great so nothing but good things to say about those but that is the main difference is the hard lining it just immediately stopped so much in fact that i didn't even level the whole yard this year um i did do some spot leveling over here on the side yard but i didn't do you know near what i would do bringing in like five ten tons to do the whole yard again um the other thing i've noticed on the flex is just adjusting the you know the bed knife and stuff i have not had to touch it it is cutting paper still and i have been using that thing weekly multiple times weekly um so that's the other big difference i noticed i mean it's just i grab it crank it and mow and go and that's the reason i'm going to be looking for another one because i it, to me it you know it's better than the deer another thing i want to mention is the flexibility of the height of cut on the john deere you can go from dirt to you know around an inch with the stock height of cut adjusters here on the flex it is a lot different you right now since i had to raise the height of cut I try to get in here you have to use these shims to get a higher height of cut unless you put on the high height of cut brackets now if I understand correctly, to put on if you put on the high how to cut brackets, you lose the front groomer. So what I've done is just shim it. Now that gets me higher height of cut. The issue is if I want to go to a lower height of cut, you know, if I want to scalp, I have to then remove a shim. I can't go from dirt to this high again. It's not a big deal, but it's just a little bit easier, you know, on the deer. The other thing, you know, this is a 260. This is a wide mower. So I'm getting a 26 inch cut, you know, across here versus a 21. So taking into consideration how big, you know, your lawn is, I make a lot fewer passes, obviously. I mean, this machine is, you know, too big for my yard, really, but it makes quick work of it. So I like it. I also like this to, to scalp with this machine, man. It just makes fast work of everything. So really like the deer um and it may be better suited for your lawn so just something else to think about another fantastic thing about this flex is it has no zerks so you can throw away that grease gun you know the true cuts and the john deers they're zerk heavy you're always going to have that grease gun out no zerks on the flex so the wife has really gotten the landscaping looking good if you guys want to stick around i will uh show you what some of these plants are so over here are a bunch of uh, limelight hydrangeas. These do well in sun. Um, we had nothing over here on this side of the house, so they're very big. I mean, I think we've got four of these bad boys. They are about three or four years old right now. We bought them when they were very, very small. 
but you can just see how big and full and awesome looking they got. So this is a great coverage plant, you know, if you need something to uh, put in your yard, highly recommend. We have more, these are little lime hydrangeas. They don't get quite as big as the ones on the side. And they have kind of changed color already. A couple weeks ago, they were really a bright, like lime green color. And now you can see they're kind of changing towards the, the pinkish now. And then in the back, you see, hello butterfly. We have some big butterfly bushes back there. All right, so bear with me here. Like I said, I have been away. I've not been tending to the yard like I want. I've got to clean out these beds. I'm getting some runners in here uh, that I need to pull and even some weeds. Um, these plants right here, all of these do well in high heat and drought. So right here, this is a daylily. The uh, yellow ones get a lot of compliments and questions. This is sunshine ligustrum. It looks amazing, a yellow pop uh, along the lawn if you ask me. We've got another one right there, but those things, I mean, they're hard to kill. I mean, you just, you know, this area right here is so hot from heat just off the asphalt and the concrete. I could never get turf to grow here, so I just cut in a bed and we put this in here. I need to redo the mulch. I am having some issues with heavy rains. Um, just coming in here and washing some of this out. I'm gonna incorporate some rocks in here somehow. I'm not gonna rock the whole thing, but I'm gonna figure something out. And finally, we have a Miss Molly butterfly bush right here. This is more of a dwarf variety. I really love this thing. It stays more compact, non-invasive, um, attracts tons and tons of cool butterflies. So we really like having that around. Um, but this may give you some ideas for your beds. And like I said, this stuff is all very hard to kill. Um, heat tolerant, drought tolerant, all that fun stuff. So consider for your bed. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, drop them below. I'm curious which mower you like better. If you've used both of these, drop an opinion, comment, question. Be sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out and I'll see you in the next one.